Hello, this is Shesha Chalam from Astrocad Mysore. So I am back once again with case studies. So today I am dealing with medical astrology and here in particular this is a chart which has been uh, you know given by one of the uh, followers uh, on YouTube uh, and uh, this chart very clearly represents ovarian cancer and this is first stage so I have many other charts which represent second stage, third stage and even fatality here the person is living, she has got cured so I would want to take up this particular uh, subject with a positive note so we all should understand that when we are seeing medical astrology and going through those horoscopes then we need some particular factors which are to be noticed and to be analyzed in a methodological, methodological way what's that word? Methodical Methodical way oh, Methodology and vehicle both joined together Okay anyway So here the methodical system systematic system of how to go ahead should be first the Lagnadipati its strength the sixth lord its strength the position of the Lagnadipati and the position of the sixth lord I am not going to write down all that because already the board is full. So, the Lagna Adipati, Mercury, its strength is very strong. Uh, you can see that this is the Rashi Kundali and the Bhav Kundali. Yeah, tell me. Please uh, tell them that we have done the North Indian chart also. Yeah, yeah, I have done the North Indian chart for people who are actually, you know, more stuck to the North Indian chart or used to it because I am stuck to this. No, I can't tell that you people are stuck here. You people are used to this. I am used to the South Indian chart and also the North Indian chart. I can see both. But I usually am comfortable here because the aspects can easily be measured from my own way of uh, understanding it. So you can see that the Lagna is in Gemini here and the Adipati of Gemini, that is Mercury is in the fourth house in Virgo, that is the sixth, sixth sign from Aries. And in Virgo, when Mercury is at 20 degrees and 59 minutes, we tell that Mercury is in its own house. It's not exalted. But anyway, why, why is that? Very simple, fast explanation is 0 to 15 degrees is exaltation, 0 to 15, and 15 to 20 degrees is Mula Trikona, and 20 to 30 degrees is own house. So please, if anybody has this confusion, it's solved here. So that is the bifurcation of Virgo Rashi. So this is Rashi and Bhava because when we go to the Bhava Kundali there are no changes. The Rashi Kundali and the Bhava Kundali remains same. That means the planets will not change their houses and this is the first house, this is the fourth house in the Rashi and the Bhava. So uh, carrying on with the Navamsha, in the Navamsha if I explain the Lagna is falling in Pisces and these are the planetary positions and people are asking me once again that please write the names, why do you write the symbols? But once you start getting attached to the symbols, symbols are easy representations because they talk to you. You know, the words will not talk to you. That, that level we have to come and achieve. So that's why I have put symbols. This is Mars, Moon, Saturn, Venus, Mercury, Sun, Rahu, Jupiter retrograde and Ketu. Just like that. I just explained for people who do not know the symbols at first. So, as I was telling the systematic way, the Lagna Adipati, the Lagna falls in Gemini. Lagna means ascendant. The ascendant lord is placed in the fourth house, in its own house, very well placed, and hence is giving rise to one of the strongest yogas known as the Bhadra Yoga. It is the Panchamahapurusha Yoga. Jupiter is in the 10th house, it's also giving rise to Hamsa Yoga, but it is retrograde. You have to make a note of it. That is a malefic planet for this Lagna. I am just giving an additional note there because it is also giving Panchamahapurusha Yoga. People will suddenly ask me, Sir, Jupiter is also giving Hamsa Yoga, Sir, what are its effects? We will talk about it later. Today we are talking about ovarian cancer for this chart. Next. <laughs> okay. The Lagna Adipati's placement is good, the Lagna is good. So, first level, clear. Second level, the sixth lord. The lord which represents Roga diseases. You know, Roga, Ripu, Runo, Runa, 
So repo means enemies, runa means debts, which can make you force you go into loans or happily give you. Luckily, you will earn. Suddenly, you will get a loan which you will, uh, you know, the people will tell that you can repay it anytime you want. So that also is represented by sixth house. But as on date, as today, it is disease. So where is it posited? It is posited in the lagna. When the lord of the disease is posited in the lagna, it will cause difficulty to the native. Any else? Anything else posited in the sixth house? No planet in the sixth house. So that's good. So we finished the first two criteria. That is, uh, um, that is one is first two criteria. That is one is lagna, lagna dipati, sixth lord, and sixth house. Finished it. So now next level we have to see. What are all the planets which are afflicted and what are the houses which are afflicted? Now, what is affliction? When a combination of two planets happen in a chart and one is a malefic, the other one is a benefic. One is darkness, one is light. That's what has happened here. That's why I'm particularly stressing on that point. So, okay. And one is extreme benefic, the other one is extreme malefic, like Guru and Rahu. If they are joined together, problems will start. So here, the Sun-Rahu combination in the fifth house, very clearly, see, no other combination is there, which is that malefic. Even this Chandra Mangala Yoga is not a, that bad combination, but still, Mangal, that is Mars in the Lagna, has very clearly given an indication that in the Mars Dasha, Bukti, Antara Dasha, that is the major period, sub-period, sub-sub-period, we can find some clues or indications with regard to what might the person be going through. And where it might happen, we need to see the Drekana chart. As my wife told me, we'll be doing Drekana today. I told it's going to be too you know, detailed and advanced. When we will, we will do take up these charts itself in the advanced class. But anyway, uh, we can do it fast and see where it falls in the Drekana. You know, Mars. You know, Mars is at 8 degrees first Trekkana. So it is here only. Lagna is at 1652. It is in the second Trekkana. So it falls here. So Mars is in the same place. Lagna falls here. So if I go through it, it will be very advanced. I don't want to do that. Yeah, let us, let us. Uh, uh, Understand yeah. with the basic concept. Yeah, basic concept. Uh, that would be uh, better. Because if I go to the Trekkana, I can very clearly see that Rahu joins Mars in Mithuna and Sun and Lagna are here. So Lagna comes here, Sun remains there because it's at 907. So exactly. I can do the Drakana directly within this itself. No, sun, is sun is debilitated, it is weak and uh, in that period of Sun or Rahu the problem will exist or it will come up, come to the surface. Rahu also gets malefically disposed when it is along with the planet. So that is what has happened in this chart. So the next level was to understand malefic house and which house is it? it is the fifth house. So who is the Karaka for the fifth house? Jupiter. Who is the Adipati that is the owner of the fifth house? That is Venus. So let us see the respective positions of Jupiter and Venus from the fifth. Now the, the point of our interest consideration is the fifth house. So if I am considering the fifth house, why should I see it from the ascendant? I will see it from the fifth. If you are having throat problem, you know, you will not go for, uh, you know, head massage. You know, you have a throat problem, you will go to the ENT specialist, take some medicine. Same way, you are not having a headache. So same way, the fifth house is for ovaries, for fertility and where the egg gets produced. And from there, the Adipati, that is the lord of the fifth, is sitting in the eleventh. It is Roga, because it is the sixth from the sixth. I will count. One, two, three, four, five, six. And again from there, one, two, three, four, five, six not good disposition. Suddenly people will ask me next question. Sir, there is a Parivartana Yoga, sir. Um, sun and uh, Venus have exchanged houses. It is more bad. The 11th Lord also is now sitting in the Lagna. Lagna means the 5th house is Lagna now for me. If I am analyzing each house, I will make it a Lagna. 
that is where I have counted it from first house and that's how I am starting. So, it's more tough when there is a Parivartana Yoga between two enemies. These, these fellows are strong enemies. So, they don't have mutual great understanding when they have Parivartana Yoga. So, people keep asking me, you know, Saturn in Aries and Mars in Capricorn, is it a great Raja Yoga? How will it be a Raja Yoga? So, Parivartana Yoga, yes, but they have other repercussions are there. But same way, here, Sun being the 11th Lord for the 5th house, sitting in the 5th house, being debilitated, and the Lagnadipati for 5th house, that is uh, Venus, going to the 11th house, very clearly indicates that there is going to be trouble with regard to the ovaries. Next, the Karaka, that is the significator, that is the signifier of this particular house for children is Jupiter. I would like to add in this, people mm. will ask ovaries and all, this comes in 8th house. Mm. So, just want to make a note that the importance here is more of Shukra because he is the Lordship. Yeah, yeah, this is about so fertility. That's why, that's this why. is about fertility and this is about uh, the, oh, the product, the center where it is produced. So, that is why, you know, that's you need to see ovarian. the eggs. Yeah, that's why it's ovarian. Correct. Because again, they will say it's sun, it might be, it should be some heart thing or bone thing, then why ovarian? So, that's why I just wanted to make it clear yes. that Venus is going to play more role. Then a bone might also be a little weak here. Yeah. Uh, that that might be also be a factor because of the vitamin uh, deficiency which that uh, lady might be going through. Uh, because of that Rahu position along with sun. Yeah. There might be that deficiency be also which has caused this. Yeah. Maybe. Mm. So that's one thing we need to add. Correct. Yeah. So the other one what I was telling is about the sixth placement of Jupiter yeah. from the fifth house. Again it is Rogasthana and Jupiter is placed there which is not good. From the Kara Karakasthana that is from the signification the house which signifies from that house if the signifier that is the Kara, karaka planet that is karaka graha if it is badly posited in the 6th 8th or 12th from it it will decrease its positive strength and increase its negative strength for that particular given house Please try to understand this. This is the advanced level, but still I am trying to give you. Extremely advanced level. Yeah, yeah. So, like for example, for example, fifth house is for higher education, and if it has gone to the sixth, eighth, or twelfth house, Jupiter is for higher education. The same lady would have gone through breaks in her education, but we are not talking about that. I can get those details from she's. Uh, I can ask her to give. She will give it to me, and I can tell it here. But uh, we are not now directly concerned with that, but that has that might have happened. I am not predicting here uh, with regard to any chart, but still just giving you a gist of how we do the analysis. You know, so the car once again I will repeat the Karaka house, the house which signifies a particular signification, and that signification. There is a planet which represents that signification and if it is placed in the 6th, 8th or 12th from that signifying house, then it is not good. Let us take simple not good. It is weak. It might cause difficulties. So that is what has happened in this case. And the timing now. So the timing, once again, you know, for this 5th house, this is last. This is hospitalization for the fifth house. And in Mercury Dasha itself, in Mars Antar Dasha, that is the Bhakti, Mercury and Mars. So who are they? Mercury is sitting on this side and Mars is the planet of this side. This is what is called as Papa Kartari Yoga. Though Mars is not posited there, it owns that house. And you can also see Mars is aspecting Mercury with its fourth aspect. Whether the aspect is strong or not, let us check. Mars is at 8 degrees and 20 minutes. Mercury is at 20 degrees and 59 minutes. Very feeble aspect. 
the aspect is not strong and that is why this lady is living well, she got this thing diagnosed in the first stage itself so this is a very minor case which might not fully show you a huge uh, difficulty to the person but still she has gone through how many she has gone through six cycles of chemotherapy it's not a simple thing even one cycle of chemotherapy is like you know putting a person in uh, boiling oil frying him for 10 minutes and then removing out and giving him back life that is the pain what a person goes through when acid is passed chemo is nothing but chemicals they are acid it is passed through the blood stream and it starts killing whatever it encounters so usually it kills the blood you know particles the platelets the wbc rbc whatever it gets it keeps attacking and kill so once it kills it will also neutralize you know the acid will neutralize so if they keep passing acid how many times six times she has gone through hell very tough thing i know how tough it is to see a person yeah, who goes through to, uh, pain after concluding we will be uh, while concluding we will tell them that uh, why she has recovered yeah yeah i give it i give i without that uh, it will not be complete uh, how come a uh, person did not uh, succumb to this why he has recovered we can tell you very very easily so <clears throat> the aspect of mars is very feeble and mercury is very close to its exaltation or mula trikona and it is very well posited giving rise to a bhadra yoga very good whether there is a direct hit from jupiter to mercury that also has to be seen so here jupiter is at 24 degrees and mercury is at 20 degrees so there is a direct implication there is a direct aspect of jupiter over mercury so jupiter is the he is the black sheep in this chart he is the person who has done everything you know for this particular problem to go through ovarian cancer if you simply see the chart and think that the position of sun and Ma rahu has given everything no sun and rahu is indicative who has actually given the problem it is jupiter and you can see that jupiter is retro very strong extremely strongly placed it's a strong malefic in a kendra which is also a bhadaka which is also a maraka kendra adipatya dosha sitting in a kendra doubles its negative strength and this planet is a very dangerous planet to be posited there and that is the one which has given the problem but see the other way around if you see you can see that the lagnadipati is so strong in this chart that it has the strength to fight right, right. that that is that is what has made this person survive so you should see the strength of these planets by seeing the d9 chart also i have told you how to check the strength of the planet see the d9 chart so jupiter has lost strength because it has gone to the 12th house here and mercury has gained strength because it is in a trikona in the d9 chart so the the strength analysis if you do directly on the face you can see that this fellow is weak and this fellow is strong with regard to the d9 chart and that in turn in the d1 chart has given rise to recovery okay so let us come to the next level i I'll, I'll tell you how it has also got recovered to the next level so after mercury mars september 2014 she has been diagnosed and she has gone through uh, you know treatment in 2015 that means the onset of the disease will not be exactly on the date you have to go back it will be around two or three years before that so mercury mars september 2014 onset of this problem okay and then mercury rahu september 2015 it's the mid of the problem where the person has gone through you know a lot of treatment chemotherapies and all those things and then recovered okay after mercury rahu there is a period of recovery period you know it's not easy for a cancer patient to suddenly recover get up and start jogging no so they need some time so after mercury rahu it's a big period mercury rahu is not a small period it's a big period around two and a half years of period so after that mercury rahu then you get another period of mercury 
Jupiter, which is also a very tough period. You know, Mercury, Jupiter is there. So, she has taken some time to come out of this problem. It's not that she suddenly recovered and started, as I told you, jogging. No. So, though it was first stage, she has gone through a lot of continuous medication and uh, process of recovery. So, because it was Mercury Dasha, she was able to survive. So, uh, I think uh, I have covered. I want to uh, add one more point here. Yeah. Like the Dasha Nata also has to be taken. It's very important. Very From important. Dasha Nata, Mars is the third and the eighth lord. Correct. Jupiter is again the Badaka, fourth and the seventh lord. Correct. So that is also the reason that that. Correct, correct. I did not go to take. that level of Dasha Nata yeah. to be taken as Lagna. So, so we also do to see the. Cross uh, we cross check on three issues. One is taking the pivotal point of the problem as the Lagna. Second is taking the Dashanatha as the Lagna and then seeing the respective positions of the planets. And then also in the advanced level, we will also take the Nakshatra Adipati of the Dashanatha to the Nakshatra Adipati of the Muktinatha and see where there is Tarabala or not. That uh, we will not touch now. And the third, fourth level, what we will do is we see the transit. So, if you see the transit, 9-9-2009, Saturn entered Virgo. So, two and a half years. So, 2012. Then, two and a half years here. 2015. What was transiting over this place? Saturn. Very clearly, you can see from transit that the person started getting this problem when trans transit of Saturn was happening in between Libra and Scorpio and that is the sixth house, sixth house. from moon and from ascendant. So we need to check and cross many check levels. many things. So but still I have given you uh, basic, basic understanding. Thank you very much for today's class. Thank you sir.